Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see histogram modeling. Now the question is: Perform histogram stretching or histogram linear stretching so that the new image has a dynamic range of zero to seven, both inclusive. This zero to seven is my S. Okay. Now the question given is: Gray levels is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number of pixels are zero, zero, fifty, sixty, fifty, twenty, ten, and zero. Now this gray level is nothing but my R value. Now the minimum R value at which the value is present, that is, it is not zero, is two because at two it is fifty. Bef before that it is zero. So R minimum is two, and the maximum R till which the value is present and it is not zero is six. Okay. Even if we had a zero in between, it would still be R max will still be six because after that there is a constant zero. Okay. So I have R min two, R max six. Now I have to find S min and S max. That is nothing but my zero to seven. So S min is zero and S max is seven. Now the formula for S is S max minus S min divided by R max minus R min multiplied by R minus R min plus S min. Substituting the values, we get seven minus zero upon six minus two multiplied by R minus two plus zero. Okay, from these. Solving that, we get seven by four into r minus two. Cool. So let's substitute the values. So we have r two three four five six. Why two three four five six? Because r min was two, r max was six. So it will be between z two to six, both inclusive. So two to six. And let's substitute these values of r's in this equation. Okay, this s equation. We get zero, one point seven five, three point five, five point two five, and seven. As told in the previous video. Anything above 0.5 will be rounded off, so zero will remain zero. 1.75 will be two, 3.5 will be four, 5.25 will be five, and seven will be seven. So what are my new gray values? The gray levels are zero, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and this corresponds to my new S. Okay, this is the S that I got. So zero corresponds to now 50 because zero corresponds to two, and two in the question. Is fifty. Two corresponds to three, and two three in question is sixty. Four corresponds to four. That is nothing but fifty. So look here. Five corresponds to five. It is twenty and twenty. No six present, so it will be zero. Seven corresponds to six. Seven corresponds to six. Six previously was ten, so seven will be now ten. So basically, you have to compare this S values with R values and check the number of pixels previously, and write that. And whatever is absent, take it as zero. Now, if I have to plot a histogram of this, because I had to linear stretch it, okay? So this is the original histogram, okay? The original histogram means that is the histogram given in question. So zero was zero in question, right? Zero was zero, one was zero, two was fifty. Okay, three was sixty, four was fifty, five was twenty, six was ten, seven was zero. Now, after linear stretching, this is the histogram that I get: zero becomes fifty, one is zero, two is sixty, three is zero, four is fifty, five is twenty, six is zero, seven is ten. So this is the S values that I got. Okay, now look at this. Previously, it was a crowded original histogram, but after that, now it looks linearly stretched. Okay, it is stretched linearly. So that is why this is called as linear stretching. Thank you and see you in the next video.